Well, Savannah Chatham County School Board members are responding after a teacher was arrested and charged for having child pornography. Albin Jose Chelathora worked as an eighth grade teacher in the district. According to the school district's uh, county Beb bookings website, he's now being charged with several felonies like child molestation and cruelty to children. WTOC's Camille Syed tells us how the school district is handling the situation. Alvin Jose was an eighth grade math teacher here at Mercer Middle School. He faces charges for having child pornography on an electronic device. Now the school board says he was moved to a different location where he's not around children. And one board member tells me it's very important they take that step in these cases. The 39 year old was arrested on November 1st by Savannah police and charged with computer or electronic pornography, which is a felony under Georgia law. Chatham County booking site shows the Mercer Middle School teacher was arrested again this Wednesday with more felony charges of child molestation, cruelty to children, criminal attempt and false statement in writings. According to a school district official, they're not aware of school system computers or school property being involved in the crimes. School board member Dr. Tanya Howard Hall represents District 8, which Mercer Middle School falls under. In a statement, she says in part they require educators to have extensive background checks and they adhere to requirements and they will take all allegations seriously in students best interest while the investigation continues he's still employed by the district also spoke to district 2 school board member dr dion hoskins brown who tells me they remove teachers from schools in these situations instead of firing them from the district immediately to put kids safety first and respect the individual rights of whoever is accused. The middle school teacher's Georgia accreditation shows no disciplinary history. Parents have been notified of the situation, and Hoskins Brown says SPD and Board of Education Police are investigating. Camille Syed, WTOC News.